Uploading files from the browser can make you feel like you have superpowers. Firebase provides easy access to cloud storage, enabling certain permissions for saving files to a storage bucket. By the end of this video, you learn how to model a file upload interface and service contract, implement the upload service that consumes Angular Fire storage, generate a file upload and upload this component, and configure the upload service in the consuming module. To follow along in this video, download the NX Starter Monorepo from the Gumroad link in the description. Hopping over to the NX Starter Monorepo, the Shared UI Domain project contains shared service contracts and models. The service contracts allow developers to choose between different implementations. For this instance, the iFile upload service can be implemented on multiple service providers. It's to make sure the registered service conforms to the contract and we can safely invoke the methods from the injected service while within the component. Exploring the properties and methods of the iFile upload service, the file uploads property emits values when files are added, removed, or progress updates. The upload method references the upload's by ID to start an upload. The add files transforms the file list supplied to a file upload model. Remove uses the file upload ID to remove the file from the list of uploads. The shared UI Firebase project contains Firebase service implementations that will abide by certain service contracts. The Firebase file upload service implements the iFile upload service contract. Navigate to the Firebase file upload service. First, we'll need to make a map of the Firebase upload state to the file upload status. The task property keeps a record of the Angular Fire upload tasks by unique ID. This helps us reference the tasks in the case we want to cancel or pause an upload. The queued files property is a behavior subject that will emit changes to the underlying state of the files added for the upload. The file uploads is a read-only property that emits values as we change values in our queued files property. Next, we inject the Angular Fire Storage service, which is responsible for uploading and emitting progress of the uploads. The add files method transforms a file list into a dictionary of file uploads. It accepts a file list and path. Create a temporary dictionary for file uploads that will hold a list of our transform files to upload. Loop through the file list and transform to a file upload model. Each model starts off as queued and we're appending a path in the case there's a specific spot in Firebase storage bucket we want this to exist. Add the file upload is referenced by the file upload ID to the file uploads variable. Merge the file uploads to the queued files and emit the next value. The file upload method accepts the file upload ID, where we'll use this to reference the file upload from the queued files value. Next, an Angular Fire upload task is created when the Angular Fire storage upload method is invoked with the file name in the file data. To reference the Angular Fire upload task, as uploads may happen in parallel, add the task to the property tasks dictionary and reference by the file upload ID for the dictionary key. Listening to the status of the upload task, we subscribe to the snapshot changes. We'll need to massage this data a bit in order to understand the percentage uploaded and the status of the upload. Add a map operator that destructures the Firebase storage upload task snapshot for the properties bytes transferred, total bytes, and state. Calculate the bytes transferred to be used in the return model. We want to change a couple of properties for the file upload, status, and percentage uploaded. So we'll return a partial file upload that includes these properties. The catch error operator also returns a partial, but in this case sets the status to an error. Finalize executes when the observable completes and acts as a side effect. Once the observable completes, the upload task can be removed from the dictionary. Invoking the execution of the observable, we need to subscribe. The file upload changes will be broadcasted to our queued files property using the next method. The remove method accepts a file ID. The remove property method accepts an object, which will remove a property by a property name. This removes our file upload from the queued files. If there's an associated task, we need to cancel it and remove it from the dictionary of tasks. Next, we'll create a file upload component using a single component Angular module pattern. It'll create a presentation component for a file upload responsible for displaying progress. Run the following command to add a module and component to the shared UI material forms library. You can find these commands in the description under scam file upload commands. Within the file upload components TypeScript file, add an input property of file upload and of type file upload. 
import the file upload from the at ngServe.io UI domain library. Within the file upload module, import the map progress bar module as this component will be used in our file upload component. Open the file upload component markup file. Within the file upload markup, I make the assumption we're using Tailwind CSS, so utilities used in this component can be found in their documentation. Create a div with classes flex, flex row, and justify evenly. Add a label that uses half the space and aligns to the left, showing the name of the file upload. Add a label that uses half the space and aligns to the right to show the percentage uploaded. Create another div with the flex and flex row classes. Add the map progress bar within that div. With the map progress bar, set the mode to determinant, which will style the bar to be a solid color. Set the attribute color to primary. For the value attribute, one way bind the percentage uploaded. Generate a file upload list component running the following commands to create the component and module. Create an injection keys TypeScript file and index TypeScript file under the directory file upload list that was created. In the injection keys TypeScript file, import Angular's injection token. Export a file upload injection token which instantiates a new injection token. Import the iFile upload service from the at ngServe IO UI domain and use this type as part of the generic in the injection token. Finally, name the injection token file upload service. This will be used to configure the upload service and inject that configured service into our file upload list component. Within the file upload list module, add a constructor. This will inject the file upload list injection token and check that the service is not null or undefined. Create a static method configure that allows the consuming application to define the class that implements the iFile upload service. Append the provider with the file upload list injection token to the list of providers for the module. In the ng module decorator, include the modules ng serve file upload module, mat button module, mat icon module, and mat ripple module. Moving over to the file upload list TypeScript file, in order to determine the types of files we want to upload, an input property of file types allows you to control this. For example, an images slash star would show image files from the browser's file selector. The path property determines where in our storage bucket of Firebase the file will be stored. We'll need to make a reference to an element on the page for the file input we'll use later to instantiate the browser's file selector. The upload status property will be used to help display certain buttons on the template. The constructor uses the file upload injection token for the configured iFile upload service. The file uploads property reads and listens to files in the queue. Choose files clicks the file input for us, which we're going to use in a separate button to make that happen. Once files are selected, we listen to the event of the files change on the file input and invoke the file upload service add files method. We can invoke uploading files individually with the upload file method using the file ID. The remove method responds to events with a file ID and calls the remove method on the file upload service. For the file upload list markup, add a container div as this will house the list of file upload components. A containing div is the ng4 directive to iterate through the list of files using the async pipe for the observable and a key value pipe as the file uploads returned is a record string file upload model. The ng serve file upload component binds each of the file upload values to the file upload property. A div below the file upload houses a couple of buttons that will start and remove the file upload. The first button will invoke the remove method on the click event. It uses the mat icon button directive to help us display the delete button with a material icon. This button is disabled if the upload status is in progress. The second button starts the file upload and invokes the upload file method on the click event. This is disabled if the file upload status is not queued. The file input responds to the change event, providing the file selected by the user. It accepts the file types property on the accept attribute, determining the files to be shown in the browser selector. The class file upload list file input hides this file input from the user and we provide a custom button for them to click for uploading. The file list upload is referenced 
in the view child property file upload list. Our upload button uses Tailwind classes for a border radius, colors, and padding. The click event invokes the choose files method and acts as if the file input above was clicked. Now we'll need to configure a couple of modules. The first module we'll need to configure is the ng-serve.io feature module. Add the ng-serve file upload list module and configure it with the Firebase file upload service. Go to the ng-serve.io ng-serve project and open the app module. Configure the Angular Fire module invoking the initialize app with the Firebase configuration which can be found in your Firebase console. Create an upload example component by running the command above and using the project ng-serve.io feature form project. Within the upload example components markup, add an ng-serve file upload this component. Add a property for file types, images, slash star, and a property path, test. Return to the ng-serve.io feature form module and add a route that points to the newly created component. In the ng-serve io ng-serve project, the app modules route lazy loads the ng-serve io feature form module on the forms path. When the application runs, we'll navigate to the forms upload path. To serve the application, run the command mpx nx serve ng-serve io ng-serve. Navigate to the forms upload path. If styling is missing, add the tailwind imports to the styles sas file. Click the Choose Files button and select a few images. Click the Upload button. If no progress is indicated on the progress bar, an error may have occurred. There's no indication in the UI of an error, and if you're developing it, it may even be less clear if this goes without indication. Inspecting the Network tab, there's a Permissions error in which we need to configure our Firebase rules. Navigate to Firebase Storage Rules. Rules configuration is denying any request for any unauthenticated users. We'll set that to true for now. If you'd like me to dive deeper into Firebase storage rules, leave me a comment. Save your rules and hop back over to our form. Select some files and try to upload again. Files should be uploaded and exist in the storage bucket grouped under test. In this video, you learn how to model file upload and service contract, implement an upload service that consumes Angular Fire Storage, create a single component Angular module for file uploads, and configure the upload service. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and check out ng-serve.io, where we serve the Angular and web development communities.